Here's another problem where we're going to find, what do we want this in factored form? So we're going to find the zeros and put this in factored form. So if we look, first of all, um, our p's about factors of 36 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 plus or minus 4 plus or minus 9 plus or minus 12 plus or minus I, I'm going to keep going with this but I'm like uh, not going to likely be those 18 and plus or minus 36 uh, as usual it's usually going to be something down in this area um, it's not going to be big values, especially when 36 is the final result. If we look at Q's, we're looking at plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3. So our P over Q's are going to be plus or minus, uh, I'm going to go with the ones that are more realistic, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 third, um, 2 thirds, Three thirds is one, we already have that. Plus or minus four thirds, maybe. Nine thirds is three, so we already have that. So, and 12 thirds is four, we already have that. 18 thirds is six. I totally missed six. Plus or minus six. Um, so, let's just go ahead and go with the, the smaller values anyway. And the nice thing is they give us a 6i as one of the zeros. And the fact that none of the coefficients are imaginary, that means that negative 6i is another zero. So that gets us down to a cubic. And if we could find one more zero, then we'll be able to get this down to a, um, um, a quadratic that we can use a quadratic formula if we don't obviously see a factoring possibility. So let's just also look at this. We're positive to negative. That's one sign changed. Negative to positive, two sign changes. Positive, negative, three sign changes. Four sign changes. So we're looking at positive, negative, complex zeros. We could have four positives. And then our P of negative X would be negative 3X to the fifth minus X to the fourth minus 105X cubed minus 35x squared plus 108x plus 36. And that's just one sign change. So 4, 1, and 0. By the way, 4 plus 1 is 5, gives us the total 5. So and that was an exercise to help confirm it. Some people may say it was unnecessary. Or we can go down by 2. We could have 2 reals one complex one I mean, a negative and two complex or zero reals one negative and four complex so the logical way to go i mean we already know there's two complex could be two or four so we know that this is not the case because six i and negative six i are zeros so we're looking at one of these last two cases but the one guarantee is that there's a negative one so we probably should try the negative zero when we get to that point but let's whittle this down a little bit with the 6i and the negative 6i. So that's going to be 3, negative 1, positive 105, negative 35, negative 108, and positive 36. So we'll start with 0 there. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 times 6i is negative, oh, sorry, it's positive, 18i. We have negative one plus eight, geez. I can write what I'm thinking, It'd be helpful. Negative one plus 18 I, I also could take another take, I guess. And then we're looking at six I times negative one plus 18 I. And what do we get for that? Uh, we get 6i times 18i is negative 108, and then 6i times negative 1 is negative 6i. So we'd have negative 108 minus 6i. So that's going to give me, what is that, negative 3 minus 6i if I add those together. So negative 3 minus 6i 
times 6i. 6i times negative 6i is going to be 36. So negative 36, so negative of negative makes a positive 36. And then minus 18i. So we have 36 minus 18i. That gives me 1 minus 18i. And then 1 minus 18i times 6i. It's going to get interesting. Hey, I think we did an 18i. Yeah, that was 108. So coming down here, we're going to get ourselves that 108. And that's going to be positive because the i squared makes negative 1, and that's negative, so positive. And then plus 6i, so 108 plus 6i gives us just a 6i. And then 6i times 6i is negative 36, so that's 0. Okay, that worked, and it was a 0, confirmed that. Now we'll go negative 6i and see what happens. All these imaginaries should go away. So we'll have, again, 0, 3. Negative 6i times 3 is negative 18i. Look, that goes away. Here's a negative 1. Negative 6i times negative 1 is 6i. That goes away, leaves a negative 3. 6i times negative 3 is positive 18i. That goes away, leaves a 1. And negative 6i times 1 is negative 6i, so we get a 0. Look at that. And I just see this, this pattern, 3i, negative 3i. That's like saying this is 3x cubed minus x squared minus 3x plus 1. And I could factor by grouping, I just realized. So if I group that 3x cubed minus x squared minus 3x minus 1. By the way, this minus, this is the part that might confuse people. A negative times this negative makes that positive there. So that's why I made this negative in here. I made that change because I factored out a negative. Okay, so we end up with this. Out of the first pair, I can take an x squared and I have a 3x minus 1. Out of the second pair, I take a 1 and I have 3x minus 1. So this becomes x squared minus 1 times 3x minus 1, or x minus 1 times x plus 1 times 3x minus 1. Okay, so we have all our factors now. We can come back up here. We have x minus 1 times x plus 1 times 3x minus 1 times x minus 6i times x plus 6i and that would be our answer okay hope that helps